what's going on y'all hope you've been living right today's video it is an unboxing now i was strolling around on six cents website one day like i probably do most of every day and big old thing popped up saying 60 percent off on a ton of stuff so naturally i clicked it and ended up with this medium size box biggest box i've gotten so far from them but got a nice box full of baits now you can use a promotion code on top of it and get an extra 10 percent off which is 70 percent off anything they have on their sale which is phenomenal got a ton of baits for myself to fish and bring content hopefully y'all are gonna enjoy it there's so many baits i have to break this up into a series so I'm gonna pull out like eight baits, we're gonna show them off, and then we're gonna end it, and then we're gonna do a video the following week, and hopefully within like five weeks, we'll have it all undone, but we're gonna name this like Project Six Cents Stuff the Boat, or Stuff the Boat with Six Cents, or Six Cents Full Send. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but pretty sure the thumbnail will have it, the title, so I finally decided on something. Oof, this YouTube thing is tough but if you enjoy these kind of videos please consider hitting that subscribe button turn it on that notification bell and if you enjoy the video please hit that thumbs up let me know that you are enjoying it so i know what i can do in the future we are going to go ahead and get started but before we break into that six cents box i was messing around and i got ordered something else from online and this is from the heater zone Dot com. If y'all don't know what the Heater Zone is, the Heater Zone is an online website by another YouTuber, Justin Royal, the one that got me going on Sixth Sense Baits. And he had a live feed on his Instagram, and I clicked in, and he just restocked up on some stuff. So let's go ahead and give it a look. <laughs> you know it. There we go, the heater's hat. Freaking love it. The gray, white, flex fit. Let's go ahead and get that on. Let's see what we got. Do an unboxing from the man, wearing the man's hat that got me started. Shit, yeah. You know it, heaters only in this unboxing i guess <laughs> sorry justin don't mean to steal your tagline also because i bought the hat he was giving away baits and i picked up ended up getting this little crush 50 that and this one is in jank juice let's go ahead and get that out of the box get a closer look of it Ooh, i actually like that I got some storms coming through tomorrow evening after I get off work and I think it's going to muddy up the water just a little bit and this might this might crush some nice bass. Woohoo, look at that. Nice purple lavender at the top. Going down in that chartreuse. A white belly. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I saw it and I saw what he was giving away and these were sold out online i was actually quite glad to see that i was i think number two on his list of buying something because i wanted it go ahead and get that back in the box but that is from justin royal i'll leave his youtube channel linked down in the description great guy he lives in texas does hardcore fishing out there he is slamming some nice fish got some great content go check him out and justin thanks for the ha new hat I love it, and I'm going to wear it through the rest of this video if you're watching it. Sorry if I steal a couple of your lines. I kind of feel, feel, feel like I'm being overflowed with the royal. You the man. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot to mention. <laughs> um, I got a new rod in that sale, too. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Probably be the last thing I open, but I'm excited for that. Let's go ahead and break into this box. What do we got? Ooh ordered so much stuff i forgot what i got yeah let's go ahead and get that open let's go ahead and start here got some more six inch bait bags soft plastic bait bags uh in black these are the large bait bags 
go ahead and open this one up. Throw it that way. <laughs> yeah. Nice six inch bait bag, cool down zipper, freaking awesome. Fill this up with some bait. Got one there, ah, got another one, picked up two of those. Another bait bag. These are their money bag type, the clear plastic ones. Big zip up bags. Frick yeah, big boy. This has got the camo edge. Big old six cents on it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end up throwing a bunch of bigger swim baits and flushes in these. That's what I'll carry all that stuff in. I got two of those. It's gonna help me organize this damn boat because right now everything's just sitting in a bag in a box and I gotta pull it all out. It's a freaking nightmare. But yeah, I mean, oh God, there's so much stuff. Right, I got, I ended up picking up these. They got these on sale too. The retainer, sunglass retainers. The ones I had were just aggravating and I took them off and I want some more because I don't want to lose my sunglasses. If I did lose my sunglasses, I got a card here for Waterland sunglasses. Use promotion code Waterland15 to get, save you 15% on Waterland shades. Like I said in my last video, I'm not in the market for new sunglasses, but when I am, I will be giving them a look. Let's get, let's get in here. Let's dig into this box because I got some pretty awesome stuff. Clout, warm, uh, 5.4. And Cinnamon Crave, just, I, I love the way that looked. They had it on sale, and yeah, I, I went ahead and picked them up, um, one bag of them. I already got, I think, three other bags. Just didn't want to run, run out. It's a great natural color, and they're tearing them up here where I live right now. Next up, <laughs> super excited about this. I've been curious about it. I haven't seen many people use them, and that would be the... 10 or nine, basically say 10, 9.5 inch divine shaky worm. Now I saw these and they had these on sale and I'm like, yeah, you know it, but look at that. It's basically your divine shaky worm, just nine and a half inches. So, I mean, it's got an extra three and a half inches from the original, just a bigger body. Yeah. I don't know if the tail floats, but I'm going to use this on a Carolina rig, probably put it on a big shaky head, three eighths out shaky head and just drag it across the bottom. See if we can't pull something up with that. Hopefully this weekend, but yeah, that, that color is Plum flake. I don't know how well you can see it. It's got a nice purplish tint to it. With some blue flake. Yeah, real nice. I love it. Here we go. Another divine shaky worm and plum melon magic. Right here. Let's pull this out. There we go. It just, yeah, that looks awesome. Looks awesome. Can't wait to try these. Picked up two of those, I believe. I think I picked up about two of each color because they're like five to a pack. Plum Magic Melon, there's a second pack. Let's get in here. Let's find all the other ones. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's another one and Watermelon Candy Magic. Ooh, look at that. I guess I'm, I need to learn to hold it up. Look at the hat. It's got a nice watermelon green on the bottom, but a little bit darker on the second half of it for some reason. That's the way it looks to me. I don't know how well y'all can see it and I can see straight through it. And with all that flake, oh yeah, yeah, that, that should do good. Real stoked about these nine and a half inch Divine Shaky Worms. I am. So this one is Watermelon Candy Magic. Here's one in Call Magic Red. Ooh, I'm interested in seeing this one. But yeah, um, I really, I was dragging around a Carolina rig with ridge worms and did real good one day out on the lake we're going to tomorrow or 
in two days. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it linked down in the description. The ridge worm came through. I struggled all day. I was throwing it and then pff, like four fish on that. But here is Coal Magic Red. And it's pretty nice watermelon green. It's got red flake in it. So I think that's the only real difference in it. It's a little bit darker of that watermelon green on a Carolina rig or a shaky head. I think that's going to be awesome. Or a swing head, not a shaky head, swing head. I think shaky head would do all right too, but I think a swing head would be better offshore. And there is another watermelon magic. Here we go. Call magic red. Another one. I think I got another one here. Ooh, dark water bug. I think the dark water, water bug is close to the June bug. It just has a little bit more black in it and not so much red flake, but a lot more blue and black flake. Yeah, just a gorgeous looking bait. All right, let's get that back in. So yeah, I got a, got a crap ton of those baits. Um, let's just reach in the box randomly at this point. We got a bunch of stuff. Got a Movement L7, and this is in chrome thread fin. This is an awesome lure. I actually have one of these already. I just wanted a second one on backup, and it just happened to be on sale. Check that out. Just real shiny. Got that beautiful color, blue tint, it's, and then it f falls. You know, the blue, and then the, you hit it in the right light, you'll see that chartreuse green just glow in it. And oh man, that's just beautiful. I caught a four and a half pounder on this bad boy during a six, my six cents challenge. The six cent sack challenge. I'll leave that link down in the description if I'm correct. That was my May video. I ended up getting that in my May uh, premium super sack. Freaking phenomenal bait. <laughs> up next, the Crush 250 MD did a deep diving crankbait video just a couple weeks ago. And I have actually got one of these in my six cent sack, which really turned me on to it. And I that one it was in chartreuse sunfish. And this one is in gizzard shad. Really got addicted to that deep water bite. I'll leave that video linked down in the description too. Every lure I've ever gotten from six cents, I've caught a fish on. Every single one that I've used, I've caught a fish on, with the exception of one. And that was a black chartreuse axis. And I didn't catch anything on it at one time, and I haven't pulled it out again. I haven't had the opportunity, but I'm hoping to, to catch something. Look at that. This bait right here is a medium diver. It goes 7 to 11 foot deep. And it, it, it's a killer, especially if I'm going to be hunting suspended fish like we'll be in this lake that we'll be going to here soon but yeah look at that nice purple with a little bit of copper in it that copper lateral line into the white yeah just oh yeah yeah and a little bit of orange right there at the on the belly beautiful bait awesome bait i i, I really love this 250 md but we'll go ahead and get that back in this box now the downside of buying all these lures is I gotta find places to put them. I gotta reorganize my boat and everything else. It's going to be a nightmare for me, but I am gonna reorganize the boat. I'm gonna completely empty everything out and redo it and get a nice organization before I had all my tackle in the back of the boat in boxes and all that tackle I'm probably going to end up giving away, but I'm going to do a video on my boat organization to pack the boat with all six cents lures. If you're interested in those kind of videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on that notification bell. I think I'm going to end this video here. We're going to kind of keep it short. I don't want to go on too long because I can't show all the baits, but y'all take care. And until next time, y'all. Keep living right.